At the Thomas Burton Center, we have a 44-year history of speaking up and standing up and um, acting when we see injustice and when we see injustice in our society. Um, in lieu of making a personal statement, I'm going to read a statement from the Reverend Father Paul Dordle, um, a member of the Merton Center and um, former Army Reserve Chaplain, member of the Veterans for Peace, Iraqi Veterans Against the War, Afghanistan Veterans of America, and Veterans of Foreign Wars. As a former Army Chaplain, Iraq War Veteran, and current Veteran Affairs Chaplain, I have unfortunately ministered to too many women who were sexually assaulted while serving in the military. While serving in Iraq in 2010, I ministered to one particular young soldier who had been repeatedly raped by her company commander. Her commander was only caught when the soldier had a nervous... When the... Her commander was only caught when the soldier had a nervous breakdown and told others what had happened. The commander was not arrested or put in jail, but placed on administrative reassignment pending an internal investigation. While under investigation, the commander leisurely spent his days in the brigade headquarters while his suffering victim was under constant suicide watch and psychological care. She would not eat and could not sleep. When she was suffering, the commander was often seen joking with others in the headquarters and handing out cigars to fellow officers. This appalling behavior went unchecked. I left Iraq before his case was adjudicated. Nevertheless, that incident and the myriad of other reported and unreported cases of sex military sexual assault against women in uniform leaves me dismayed and extremely angry. The fact that untrained military commanders have legal and judicial oversight over crimes, especially sexual assault, is a contributing factor to the number of cases which are never prosecuted. Prosecuted poorly or worse, convictions are overturned by commanders. For example, in 2013, Lieutenant General Craig A. Franklin, commander of the 3rd Air Force Base, dismissed the sexual assault conviction of Lieutenant Colonel James Wilkerson, even though there was plenty of evidence of the defendant's guilt. This is a travesty of justice. As a member of the Thomas Martin Center's Anti-War Committee, I wholeheartedly support legislation to remove the chain of command from prosecuting sexual assault cases and call upon for a complete overhaul of the UCMJ, especially as it applies to cases involving sexual misconduct.